appreciate uh, everyone's patience. We're going through a lot of good things tonight of information for the board and the public. So as, as Emily Ashley, our Citizen Information Resource Director, comes forward, the uh, Chesterfield Colonial Heights Christmas Mother Program, again, worked tirelessly to provide more than 1,000 families and 100 foster children, uh, you know, something uh, during Christmas time. So Ms. Ashley. Good evening. I'm happy to be here tonight on behalf of Christmas Mother. They're led by a very dedicated group of volunteers, including this year's Christmas Mother, Mrs. Phyllis Potes. Uh, over this past year, again, they had some challenges, but they had a very successful year. They were able to serve 1,086 families and elders at their Christmas distribution center. To go into a little bit more detail of what that looked like, that equated to 3,749 individuals that they were able to serve. Of these individuals, 60% of the families were served by items that were donated to the program, and they were able to purchase items with funds that were raised in our own community. 90% of the clients with Christmas Mother are Chesterfield, and then 6% are with Colonial Heights. In Christmas Mother, there are a wide network that receives outstanding community support, along with departments that are within the county. 480 community volunteer hours were given over two weeks that the center was open. 40% of the families and the elders were sponsored by community families through businesses and churches and other organizations. And schools and churches within Chesterfield held several sock, glove, and book drives. And they also launched an Amazon wish list this year, which received outstanding success. And also local business supports work for fundraising and sponsorship opportunities. Christmas Mother partners closely with social services. They were able to fund gifts for 100 foster children that amounted to over $10,000. And $12,000 worth of gift cards were given to social services for case managers who identified holiday support after the fact of the distribution center. And they also provided 25 elder bundles for late holiday support as well. And then partnerships continue to be essential to Christmas Mother. This was the first year they provided applications in both Spanish and English. And they also had bilingual volunteers to help process the applications to assess with the language barriers that may occur. And we also had Christmas Mother. They participated in our annual Three Kings event this year. And they gave out the small gifts to the children, which was very successful. And lastly, Christmas Mother partnered with the Perkinson Art Center, and they had a very successful fundraiser with the Christmas drawer. And as exciting as this holiday season is, next year and this coming year launches their 20, or 50th anniversary. So you're looking forward to celebrating that 50th anniversary in a big way through the coming year. Thank you. Board members? Mr. Hall? I'm gonna turn that off. They were unable to be here tonight. Absolutely, well, dude. A They're an incredible organization. Of generosity, for sure. Thank you.